If you wear glasses, this probably looks familiar to you. Or maybe this? It looks like it's really far away. And it starts off blurry. How exactly is that hot air balloon measuring your eye power? This machine is called an auto-refractor. It measures your eye's refractive error and comes up with your prescription for glasses by looking at how light waves change as they enter your eye. Light waves are bent as they pass through your cornea and lens. If these light rays don't focus perfectly on the retina located at the back of your eye, you have a refractive error. During an eye exam, you will be asked to stare into the machine through two lenses of the picture, like the hot air balloon at the end of a long straight road, and focus on it. It's actually meant to help your eyes relax, stopping you from straining. The image will then get blurred while the auto-refractor calibrates an estimation of your prescription based on how well your eyes focus on the image. But that's just a baseline to get your results. That's where this comes in. It's called the Snellen chart, meant to measure your visual acuity, meaning the clarity or sharpness of your eyesight. There are 11 lines of block letters, beginning with one very large optotype or letter at the top, followed by subsequent rows of more letters that get smaller. Standing 20 feet or 6 meters away, you will cover one eye, then read out the letters being pointed at by your specialist. Nowadays though, there are digital Snellen charts that will randomize the letters displayed. This is to prevent you from accidentally memorizing the chart, which would obviously taint the results. Like all other tests, you shouldn't cheat on this one. This line, designated at 2020, is the smallest line someone with a normal acuity can read from 20 feet away. But having 2020 vision does not mean perfect vision. In fact, you could have 2015 vision below this red line here, which is sharper than average. That means you can see that this is an F at 20 feet, while the average person can only tell that this is a P standing 15 feet away. The optician will then make you wear a phoropter, which looks like a set of heavy glasses. The phoropter is meant to hold the lenses that will eventually sum up your power for your left and right eye. So the power of 800 with a minus in front. It simply means the eye power is high. A minus one we call short sightedness, myopia. A plus one we call long sightedness, hyperopia. So the objective is always to make sure after we prescribe the glasses, then we can able to achieve 20 short 20 with optical correction tools, with glasses that. Another step, it's called a dual chrome test, and no, it's not meant to check if you're colorblind. It's to check if the lenses you are given are balanced on both sides of your eyes. Both red and green should appear equally sharp. If one looks sharper than the other, that means that the lenses have been either over or under corrected. All these tests will help your optician to prescribe lenses with the most accurate power to correct your vision. It starts at a very young age. Your physical growth during childhood can elongate your eyeball, resulting in short-sightedness or myopia. So, the light entering your eye isn't focused correctly, and distant objects look blurred. This is very normal with growing children. In 2003, a survey of more than 4,000 school children in Gomba showed that 35% of them were myopic. Among the 15-year-old age group, myopia was more common in the Chinese at 65%, followed by Malays at 30%, and Indians at 16%. There's no definitive answer as to why myopic rates are so different amongst ethnicities but researchers suggest that environmental factors may contribute to it. The usual age short sightedness myopia stop progressing to be around 20 when your eyes are fully developed. Despite what some people think, myopia does not fix itself as you age because your eyeball shrinks. The cause of long sightedness and aging happens because your lens becomes stiffer and focuses light behind your eyeball, causing nearer objects to look blur instead. In terms of how often you should get your eyes checked, generally nine months to a year. And contrary to popular belief, you actually can't improve your eyesight by snacking on carrots. The vitamin A found in carrots, however, is recommended to reduce your risk of vision loss and other eye-related diseases. So, if you feel like you have blurry vision, get the right prescription lenses to correct it back to normal 2020. Because straining can actually make your eyesight worse.